Yeah! Let's drink some beer again. Do you want to open this? This is your box. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's Elric's box. My box. It's, 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 it's got 12. It's a 12 beer one. So, yeah, you got... might have seen them. We did eight yesterday. It was like a warm up. Yeah, just a warm up. Yeah, we're going to do 12, to 12 now. It's a Saturday night. Yeah. We won't have another box for another three, three months. months. So, yeah. it's only quarter. Unless someone wants to sponsor us. It's a bonus one for you. If someone wants to sponsor us by sending us beers yeah. to taste. Beer 52 as well, yeah, yeah. three. Right, we I'm feeling quite thirsty now. Got some snacks. So the snacks, we've got seaweed crisps. Seaweed crisps? Yeah. Crunchy yeah. tapioca and yummy seaweed. And they're they shaped like seals by the looks of them. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Seaweed of all crunch. And chickpeas. Brave roasted chickpeas, barbecue, high in protein, 76 K cow. Zip box to get the, uh, what, what, what is it? This one. Brewing the future. Brewing oh, the future. Yeah, it's going to be a past before. Oh, it's going to be some, it's gonna be some high tech weirdness, probably. Yeah. This one's, this one's made with bloody well space dust and freaking moon rockets or something. Go on, get the beers out. Get the beers out. Beers out. Show the pit. Show, show the dog the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, what we got? Oh, oh god, that dear. looks futuristic. Vegan milkshake. Gender fluid. Gender fluid <laughs> vegan milkshake. I'm thinking of you, Eric. Because not know, only are you vegan, it. but you're also gender fluid. I am. I am. <laughs> uh, don't even know what that means. No, it means you go you go between man and woman yeah. like you're like yeah your yeah feelings. whenever you feel like yeah it. yeah yeah. 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 Um, it's a bit modern for us. Yeah, uh, vegan milk <laughs> In the future, I'll be surprised if everyone's vegan, uh, gender fluid. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, vegan milkshake strawberry IPA. Okay, yeah. might be interesting. Stra straw milkshake IPA. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. And it's, oh, hello. Oh. Didn't show the back. What, what the hell part of the anatomy is that? Is that a man or That's a woman? A, well, there you go. It's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course, it's gender fluid, yeah. yeah. Let it flow and let yourself go. After you drink this, maybe what? we'll put a dress on. Yeah, no, but like, <laughs> what happened to the term transsexual then? I think that's still there. It's just that we need to... Yeah, because I think transsexual is someone who like, will be the opposite sex that. all the time. Right. The gender fluid, they will, yeah. they, they will change their... Why are we having the fucking short conversations we have? Right. Well, middle age men yeah. trying to understand the world. Exactly. Not New England happen. IPA. Oh, <laughs> nice. Salt. We've had salt before. Yeah. Oh. We're kind of both like uh, fairly right on lefties. So, oh, we are. So we don't. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, right I, mean, right. I don't have any. Uh, oh, that sort of thing shouldn't be no, allowed. You know we're not I mean? typical middle aged yeah. men in that way, no, actually. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, they're not hurting anybody. Get on, do what you do like. Do whatever you want. Uh, rocky, Rocky, Rockstar. Ah. <laughs> These are very. That looks like Oasis. Oasis, yeah, that's right. Oasis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I recognise yeah. them by the eyebrows. Oh, you got, got the, the fucking thing. I wonder if that's okay. been fifty two. It's interesting. Only one or something. Rock, Rocky Zane Road Star. Star. Rocky Road Star. Rocky Road Milk Stout. Mm. Oh. Milk stout. Milk stout, boo. Right, go get the next one out. Boo. We've got a bottle. That might be all mine. Yeah. <laughs> Bristol Beer Factory Future Proof. So, okay. Mild. Oh, so right, nice. Mild. Yeah, nice. I like a mild. We like a mild. We're mild. We're a poor. We like a mild. Mm. Um, mild is one of them beers you can drink like 10 pints and like still. Drunk. It's so, not something you see that often. You get drunk, but you 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 know you're still able to walk. You never find mild anywhere nah. anymore. Last time I had mild in a pub oh, was mild. years ago. It must be 20, 30 years ago now. Um, I was on a holiday camp up in uh, Skegness or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you, you mm. find it more up in north. north places than up north. Go on, show, show uh, the, we had more. that company before. We had more, yeah. yeah. Um, PMA. PMA? PMA. Is there anything like PMT? I'm like, I know, I was thinking that. <laughs> so oh that's dear. good. Um, we got the Voodoo Ranger Hazy IPA. Voodoo Ranger? Yeah, pretty cool. Interesting. <laughs> oh yeah. That is kind of funky. New Belgium. Nice goldy ball. It's a bit bashed up that can. A little bit yeah. in the corner. Brave Noise. Brave Noise. How about fierce beer? Fierce? Oh, fierce I say. Beer. 
It's a beer for you like, too, think. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah. Special. Special. There might be some weird ones this month then. I think. I reckon there's going to be some I, ones I, where we'll be like. Yeah, I think we're going to be in trouble this month. Yeah, we're like, what the hell? You never know. What the hell is that? We're getting more used to those kind of weird ones. Ah, uh, it's the form we? bridge we had. The right, we had one yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the cans. Ravenna. Re Ravina? Ravenna. 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 Yeah, Hazy Mose. Isn't that a song yeah. by um, oh, Sky Clay? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, Ravenna. Oh, I don't know. Sure, it's a, I saw yeah. one of those Sky Clay has got a song called Ravenna. Ravenna? Something like that. It's a woman's name, like Ravenna. Yeah. Vienna, what the Not Vienna, not Vienna. <laughs> oh, Ravenna. <laughs> Ravenna, yeah. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> dun, dun. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, siren. Bum, bum. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Midnight Merriment, Nitro Midnight Stout, merriment. don't know what Nitro means as, as far as the Stout's it's concerned. It's going to blow up. It's a Nitro, nitro Stout. Nitro Stout, Midnight Merriment. And why does it say? Nitro. <laughs> this way up. Pour hard, pour fast, it says. Uh -huh. Okay. That's good. Uh -huh. Oh man, they're going to be... If you, if you obey that, it's probably going to be everywhere. No, you know what? This is going to go up like a volcano. It's too futuristic. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's so funny because we had the oldie stuff yesterday. Maybe we should uh, put our jumpsuits on or something, like a yeah. futuristic jumpsuit. Like this. Hell Street yeah. life. Street life is the only life well. I know. LBS. Street life. <laughs> LBS. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a uh, Funky beer. can. Hail ale. ale. 4.2. El Dorado. Ooh. Ooh. Dark full in the... Brown ale. ale. Okay. Brown. Brown. I like a bit of brown. You like a bit of brown ale. Yeah. Proper yeah. old school. I like the basic can as well. Old man beer. The best. The last one I think it is. And we got, man, this is something else. Apocalyptic Thunder Juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's my porn name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Apocalyptic Thunder Juice. Prepare yourself. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Right. So we shall be back to drink those right after this. Nothing. This is going to go straight to it. Really. I'll yeah. put some, a spinning pipe can or something yeah. on there. Maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear us now. We're freaking werewolf out. Yeah, now we've finished freaking werewolf out. Yeah, technical issues, basically. It means we had to play the uh, intro, the, the opening, slightly differently. I should have got us off the screen. Yeah, with us in the little corner there. Yeah, I'll we'll start with this one that's in the door. It's the mild. You want to start the mild? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? Bristol Beer Factory, future proof. Oh, the, the, really yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the theme for this week is brewing the future. Yeah, last, past, last, well, yeah, last night, last which, was, night. which was actually last month's box, mm. was all about um, history of beer. And now we've got brewing the future. So we've gone like a, it's like a time machine. We've gone from historic beer, yeah. we're going to future beer now. Some really annoying cans. Yeah, it's got some, some interesting cans. <laughs> Let's have a look. We've got a mild though. That's not really a yeah, future beer, mild, is it? Yeah. A mild. I think of it as an old Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's any. I wonder if it's one that's been added okay, in. Yeah, it's flat like a mild. I don't remember mild being that. Yeah. I remember mild being like thicker like that. Looks very watery, doesn't it? Yeah. Mild is normally like I always think of mild as being darker and I oh, know. Here we go. Future proof. Bristol Beer Factory. Yeah. Four percent. Future proof is a classic mild beer brewed with all British hops and malt, strong biscuit, malty, and nutty notes with sweet smoothness, honey, and caramel flavours. This beer has low bitterness and is a pure session dream. So it's got four in malty, three in sweet, three in mouthfeel, uh, one in hoppy, zero in sour, one in fruit, two in floral, and two in bitter. Yeah, Clear good. brown on the eye, biscuity and malty on the nose. Mm. Uh, Muntons Mild, Crystal 240, Chocolate, Malt and Wheat are the... Um, yeah, good wheat, isn't it? Yeah. Chin Chin, old oh boy. I thought yeah. it'd be a bit of a head on it. I'm sure yeah. Mild, what would Mild have a head on it? Pretty good head, I'll, I remember. Okay. Oh, oh brand beer. Mm, yeah, proper brand yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the strength of it? It tastes like 4%. Got, yeah. Yeah. Like you say, it's a sessionable beer. You can drink yeah. it all night. Hasn't got an awful lot of biscuity or anything like that. It's just got like a nice, kind of like crispy kind of 
it's a, it's a brown thing. beer flavor, wouldn't it? Really, man, it tastes like so. the first crop of beer, mm. <laughs> beer 52, like an English mm. ale. Yeah. I love it, I love it. Yeah, good classic. No, no bells and whistles, doesn't jump through hoops. I know, I've probably got first beer out. syndrome, yeah, again, but, but like. But it's just a, really yeah, nice. just a nice, decent straight up. Yeah. I'm still surprised it never had any head on it. I'm sure I remember your masters have had a mile. I was a bit wild. I'm sure they've always been more dark. And yeah. more, it's more like a brown ale than a mile, we always said. Yeah. Oh. But it's it's quite lively for a mild even. There's like quite, quite a lot of flavour, you know. Oh, yeah, really. A bit, a bit fizzy. I, I always think yeah. mild has been a flat. Flat, yeah, yeah. yeah. I still have a bit it of tastes more like a nail, like, like you're saying. Hey, Werewolf wants some apocalyptic thunder juice. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Yeah, well, it certainly is. It's your porn star name, so, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Yeah, maybe you can have a little bit more um maltiness maybe a little bit more but no it's just a yeah it's just like a, it. it's like it's like um easy drinker ale you know it's an easy drinker like, it's one of those yeah. ones if there was nothing else there you are quite happy drinking them for you know drink four pints of yeah. i should think you okay. know it wouldn't be one of those nice. ones where you go to the pub and you start drinking you're like well, actually i don't like any of these i might go and have a cup of tea Certainly wouldn't be that. You could quite easily. I never do that anyway. <laughs> no. But some of the beers we have, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't want too many of these. One is enough. For some of them. Yeah. I'd, um. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's just like it's like um like a classic kind of like oh yeah old man beer. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go. We go, like, say no bells and whistles. I didn't. It was like in the way it was. Oh, I like little, that. There's no bells almost and whistles. A, yeah, I know. You mean, it almost is bad. Most flavoured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else to add. What you said is on here actually. So yeah. nothing else to add. But I'm a. Uh, I'm going. I wouldn't to... say it was honey and caramel flavoured. I think sometimes nah. they they weren't as many sort of bad yeah. checks as the as the fruity ones. Yeah, do. yeah. But it's definitely got like a nice little. I'm. I'm. Uh, flavor. I'm gonna go three and a half. I'm four. Hmm. I'm four. I'm, I'm, I was contemplating I'm, four. I, I, I'm contemplating four and a half. Oh, this is your beer, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm contemplating four and a half. Yeah. It's that nice. I really liked it. That's definitely the first beer to Yeah, drink. definitely. Right, this one I recommend a couple of nights match. I like the can, Voodoo nice. Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I reckon it's going to be a bit of a fucking... New Belgium. Here. New Belgium. Yeah, mm. easy pay. Five, yeah. It's going to be one of them ones and probably makes go... Yeah. <laughs> There's one what here we didn't get. Oh, oh it's, really? in the, it's in the light pack, that's why oh, I like it. Merc Lime Balance, Mango and Lime Hazy Pale Ale. Well, I think it, it usually says it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think yeah, it says in the light pack. Yeah. So I'm yeah. glad we didn't get that one. Yeah. Uh, Voodoo Ranger, New Belgium, Colorado, United States is from. Yeah. It's not from Belgium. No, Maybe so. there's a place called Belgium in Colorado, no, New Belgium. No, no. It, there's lots of new this and new that in America. It could be a New Belgium. I think they're just starting to be a from Maybe. Mildly sweet, no sourness, moderately bitter, gently sweet linger with a moderate lingering bitterness. There's lots of lingering going lots on with this lingering. one. Lots of lingering. It's lingering for a fingering. <laughs> <laughs> Later. I don't know a few women like that. But it's five in the fruity, four in the floral, three in the mouthfeel, the sweet and the malty, four in the hoppy, uh, two in bitter, and one in sour. Oh, okay. Hazy and amber on the eye, tropical and citrusy on the nose. The hops are Strata HBC 522, sounds like a robot from Star Wars. Does, yeah. Simcoe Cryo, uh, oh, Mosaic, man. Strata, and Magnum. They're definitely the go to hops. Yeah, they, they've got a hop or two in that one, haven't they? Yeah. But good points for the can. You just notice as well. Yeah, I like that. It's like stitching. It's like stitching across the top of the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stitching across the top of the thing. Interesting. Right. I've got nothing else. In yeah, a little bit it's of fruity really citrusy on the nose. Yeah. yeah. Nice fruity smell. Um, it's fruity, but it's not painful. No. I was thinking that. Yeah. I was expecting it to be more um, objectionable. Yeah. But it's not too objectionable. It's no. Got, a slightly fruity kind of yeah. like aftertaste. It's that classic IPA taste, but without the uh, hotness. That's yeah, you, the, there's not too much hotness. That's yeah. right. 
So it's got a slight, mm. it's a little, little mouthful of fruitiness when you put it in your Quite mouth. And a little aftertaste well. of fruitiness as well. Yeah, it is actually. It's thick. That's the haziness, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's chock full of hops, probably. Yeah, it's not too bad, really. You know, it's still not really something we sort of like that much, but no. I, I don't mind this one. It's not terrible. No, no. Oh, I don't know, maybe one of those ones where the more you drink of it, the more the, the little yeah, 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 aftertaste yeah. sort of yeah. grows on you. Like, like, and it either gets will. too much, yeah. yeah. That's the thing with beers, though. They're, they're, you have to find that the flavours, mm. they either start to grate on you or you get used to them. Yeah, one that's yeah. Really, uh, good beer. Some, sometimes, you can, it, sometimes I've, had, I've had beers in the past, like your first kind of mouth is like, oh, fuck me. Yeah. This is a bit much. Yeah. And after you get to like, yeah. you know, further the way down, you're like, oh, actually... I fucking like this now. Whereas, <laughs> really whereas, weird. whereas these beers used to go the opposite. Yeah. The station like, well, that's no, not, not too bad. Yeah, exactly. And like, oh, no, I don't yeah. like it anymore. Yeah, later on, yeah. it's like, oh, I'll get a bit fucking tired of that aftertaste now. Yeah. Um, do we have a read the editor's notes, see what's going on? Might as well. It's not too long and boring. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Um, West Coast IPAs are coming back. Change my mind. That's right, folks. It's our annual chance to dust off the crystal ball and make sweeping predictions about the future of craft beer that are either obvious or, in my case, probably wrong. As well as a great lineup of beers and breweries, each represented a trend that we see growing through 2022. We have some cracking punditry from our favourite beer writers. Yeah, just talking about what this, what's in the Astro yeah. magazine. So, yeah, it's just basically, so when it says the future of beer, it's talking about this year, what's coming in this year. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. I was hoping for some space beer, like, you yeah, know, some literally beer from Mars. Yeah, yeah beer, beer brewed from Mars. This, this some Martian beer. Yeah, this beer yeah. is brewed in the cleavage the of sun. Martian yeah. prostitutes or something. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Hmm. He's watching, Heidi. 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 Like, she's delightful, <laughs> she's delicious, she's the lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Her name's not Heidi either, it's D. It's just D, yeah. Uh... <laughs> she likes it when you put on the worst Australian accents ever as well. Oh, that'd be you. She loves it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, mate. That's oh, really, yeah, mate. I really love her. Bruce. Oh, oh yeah. Sheena. I really love a stupid Aussie accent, mate. <laughs> I can't get enough of them. Oh, great. I'm so crap at them. <laughs> I mean, we got an Australian flatmate. Yeah, know, but... she doesn't talk like nothing like what I do. She's like, I'm not sure she's really Australian because she doesn't talk like me when I'm putting her voice on. Nah, exactly. Oh, right, she's making it up. Oh, right, she's just pretending. <laughs> she, she, I mean, I don't know if that's because she's been in here a lot, being in England a lot of time, or, or, or whether that's just Brisbane. But she yeah. hasn't really got that strong an Australian accent. It's not like really no. big, is it? No. You, you know, she is Australian, but yeah. But, <laughs> Because we're from the East End and we got these cockney accents, people were sometimes mistaken us for Australians. That yeah. happens a lot, believe it or not. Come on, let's chat and more drink, you mate. Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah, yeah, uh, Scott, yeah. Um, I might go, I might be some bold, I mean, some, and some charitable was to give it a free. Yeah, I'm free enough. Mm. I think it's one of the the better IPAs I've had. Actually. Yeah, it was just I want to something that's better as less subjectionable and stuff. Yeah, it didn't get horrible. Yeah, it didn't get, yeah. It didn't get horrible hoppy mm. after this. The fruitness didn't get too much fruitness, you know. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. New England IPA from Shipley in England. The company's called oh, it's, so it seems like it's two companies, Salt and Guilo. Yeah. Oh, like two companies yeah. joined together or so. Yeah. Right, it's five point five percent. Pile in colour with notes of marmalade, grape, and melon melt together with a malty backbone, it says. Hazy and straw on the eye, tropical on the nose, and hot with a galaxy Amarillo and Nelson Savon. We only heard that yesterday, the first time, didn't we? Yeah, Nelson I Savon. Think we did, yeah. Well, it's four in hoppy, three in bitter, four in fruity, two in mouthfeel, two in malty. Yeah. Like four in hoppy, yeah. So, well. It's a not different... even to read on these cans or bubbles so far. That's quite weird. Yeah. There's a little bit on the back of there. Yeah, but not, not... said, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, but... Oh, well, fucking... You can't even see the writing, let alone read it. <laughs> like they hop with Galaxy, yeah. Uh, no, it's pretty... Yeah, it's weird. Pretty much the same, what I said, yeah. I wasn't to see that, that's weird. Definitely nothing on these, though. No. Just ingredients. A little really. bit on the side, but yeah. I think it's just ingredients. Um, 
Yeah. It's bad, isn't it? Like, uh, it's a British, an English IPA, but it's in the style of a New England IPA. Yeah, yeah. We bloody invented the bloody thing. Yes. <laughs> Why yeah. are we copying an American? Because it's All they what do. everyone likes. No, just trendy fuckers. Yeah, it's trendy, isn't it? Trendy fuckers. Trendy fuckers. Old oh, man beer. What you got to go with? Brand. Brand beer. Oh, okay, that looks, that looks fucking horrible, doesn't it? Yeah. That really looks. It really does. It might be. It looks like, mm. I don't know. I always like the smell of them. I like that fruitiness. That yeah, it's smell. quite fruitiness, like, isn't it? Mm. Right, here we're going in. <laughs> it's all right, you know. I was I was thinking I was going to be stabbed in the throat with hops, but it's um, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's not it's not bludgeoning you with the mm. hops. It's got a weird Quite mouth. smooth as well. Yeah, it feels like yeah, you're drinking. Smooth again. Like a, it's like a, it doesn't feel like watery. It feels like milky or yeah, something almost. Viscous. Yeah, it is kind of viscous, smooth. isn't it? It's got float. It's got bits of straw floating in it, probably. Like, yeah. It's all floating with. But I don't know. It's. I don't know. It's just a kind of weird and sippy kind of thing. Full head. Yeah, there is. On her head. You yeah. put it as well. There, is a, there is a big head on that one. Yeah. And when you remember that, that point you did yesterday, it was lively as crap, wasn't yeah. it? When you, you did yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I thought you were I'm, fucking about, but you were properly, you were, so you glass, were properly psh, tilting yeah. the glass, and it just went full head. Devil flyer. Hmm. Oh, we got Devil Flyer. Wretch Christian. Mon Mon yeah. Mon Momentum. I can't fucking see. Are they bands? Like I say. Full head. They could be bands. Okay, cool. You never know. Yeah. Well, um, it's yeah. kind of like a non. I know. I don't know. I wouldn't say it was fruity though. Would you say it's fruity? It's got that kind of like feel of like a lingering kind of fruity. Not like yeah. a nice fruit. Um, it's kind of like a smells more. It's kind of like the, the bitterness of a fruit, like like a bit of grapefruit. Yeah, it's just that so. typical fruity taste that the yeah. IPAs have. You know, like, like, it's not a nice fruity taste. It's I don't think. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's ever. I know mm. most of the time I never think it's a nice fruity taste. It's kind mm. of like I don't like it as much as the other. No, one, no, really. the other one. Bit tasty. This was a little bit more objectionable. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it hasn't got a really strong, bold flavour, no. but it's got like a kind of like insipid kind of mm. kind of thing. It's kind of like getting up my nose and making me think, you know, yeah, makes me feel like I want to brush my teeth. You know? Put a smile on the face because it's comedy genius. <laughs> Yeah, she, had, she doesn't know the accent. Should, should be a uh, makes, it, makes her feel at home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> should, should be a Canadian. I can't do a Canadian accent. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't do any accent. No. Yeah, I'm not liking it so much. It's weird. One of them weird ones. When you got my sister's boyfriend. It's um, not super objectionable, but it's like... Yeah. It's not, it's not one I'd want to drink more than one or anything. You know, Wes, uh, oh, yeah. Jerry's boyfriend, yeah. he has this really weird thing where he can do all accents. Mm. So you, he can literally do all the accents from every part of the UK. Okay. And he could probably do Aussie and like, right. you know, But they like, can do all the accents in the UK. It's bizarre. <laughs> like, some people just have a gift for it. Yeah. I don't know how accurate it is, but it sounds good to prune? them. Prune? Prune? No yeah. prune, no prune flavour. No prune juice. <laughs> prune juice. I was surprised there isn't a prune beer, actually. Well, there might well be. There probably is. Uh, there's a print thing that goes on uh, on Metal Devastation Radio that I do. Like, um, it's this thing that yeah. happened over the years, and like I mentioned, I was ill, and I and then, oh, I take some prune juice; it'll make me feel better. And it's stuck. Oh, maybe so, he knows you from Metal yeah, Devastation. It maybe. might be. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's quite Sitting funny. next to the champion, Elric. Champion of what? Champion of drinking beer because uh, of Elric. That's that for was, sure. Wait, does he uh, do your uh, cover slingers thing? Who? Werewolf. Is he oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He watches cover slingers. slingers. Yeah, yeah. He watches... champion, yes, right. Champion. Yeah, champion. Champion of cover slingers. Four months. Mm. I was well surprised. How many times you won? I don't know. Not as many as I should have done. <laughs> I should win every week. Every week. I should win every week. Um, whenever anybody else wins, it's just it's just diabolical. It's just like, <laughs> what kind of travesty of justice is this? Yeah. My covers are, are patently better than everybody else's covers. But you know, it's lucky you do. Ah, uh, so they're, they're sympathetic. Yeah. Right. Oh. God, it's going to be a long night, isn't it? We're only a third of the way through. Oh. Yeah. Brave noise, pale ale. 
sour fruit. Oh, don't get that many sours, do you? Don't get many sours. No, no, that's cool. The only time we had sours when you weren't doing it, I think. Now we have one sour, I think, me and you, but we quite have a sour. Oh, we had that sour that had fucking olives. Oh, oh it, was, it, was it was fucking was disgusting. It, it was your wild. brother. Oh. I thought it was gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> he fucking he couldn't. Uh, he was like, I, I would have thought you would be more acceptable for that kind of thing, but he was like, no way, get this shit out of my I face. I had um, a, a sour at um, a brew dog sour I got for Christmas, and I yeah. liked it, but it was a large can. It was quite hard to get. Yeah, yeah, they are a bit much in there. I must admit. Oh. Right, Brave Noise from Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, 4.6%. Uh, Brave Noise Pale, a hoppy pale ale brewed with Simcoe, Mosaic, and Sabro hops to deliver notes of juicy tropical fruits, zesty oh, citrus, yeah. bubble gum, coconut, and resinous pine. Stop against, saying these things. <laughs> against the soft, smooth, malt backbone for the ultimate easy drinking experience. I really think... Uh, well, bubble yeah, gum, what are we, kids? Bubble gum? Fucking who wants to taste bubble gum in a beer anyway? Oh, yeah. Drinking beer at room temperature. No, these, these are not room. These come out the fridge. Let's take them out of the fridge, mate. They, they are they are cool. Yeah. They are cool. Although, you know, we don't mind the odd room temperature beer. It's, it's just historic. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the uh, a lot of the Americans and other places, are, the audience as well, well say, they, oh, you drink warm beer. That's because... We don't have refrigeration in, in back in the you, day. You know why? Yeah, also, because yeah. our beer's nice. We can have it at room temperature. Your American beer, you have to have it cold. Yeah, so you can't taste it. Yeah. You, have to, you have to freeze your taste buds to, like, to dull, to dull the pain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, oh, cheers for watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, fierce, uh, fierce Beer is a, I don't know if you said it, it's joining forces with Beer 52 and right. Notch Bre Brewery to release Brave Noise in the UK a beer no, with a big go, no, it's yeah. Not, it's not shy, yeah. Uh, to help people in the drinks industry uh, wherever you, they need it. Uh -oh. A donation will be made by Fierce and Beer 52 to the Drinks Trust to help them continue the invaluable support. That's nice. Okay. Cool. So it's a charity beer. It's a beer for charity, mate. Yeah, it's charity beer. Does a lot for charity. Don't like to talk about it. About it. <laughs> it's it's not too bad. Scan the code to find out more about it as well. It's cool. Mm. Yeah, I'm too old. I, I don't fucking have a code reader like no, that. No, have you no, ever had a code no. reader for one of them on your phone? No. I'm like, no, it's like you can't be able to fucking tell me. I can't be able to look it up. You're looking to it myself. <laughs> I mean, I do for tickets. I'll download them on my phone and I'll use the code. To right. Yeah, yeah. Places, but mm. yeah, because you're supposed to scan it and you get it up on the internet. But mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to get it on my phone, to be honest. It's like hard work. Yeah. yeah. That's for the kids. Leave it to the kids, mate. Yeah. Um, this is uh, oh, not objectionable, Ooh. nothing weird, amazing, yeah. certainly no fucking bubble gum, or coconut, or pine. It's not a lot of flavour, actually, no. but it's nice, though. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's more like all right and pleasant, I'd say. Uh, not, not objectionable, I'd I, go I can slightly, it's only because I've said it, mm. I wouldn't say it if I drank it and go, oh, that's like coconut, but I can understand the coconut. Actually, it has a little bit of that sort of taste to it at the back. So I'm um, up my own ass now, don't Yeah. Oh, uh, and you've been hypnotised by the, by the words, mate. Mm. It's told you it's coconut, and you're like, oh, mm. coconut! I can taste bubblegum ice <laughs> yeah, cream. Yeah. I can taste the left nipple of a fucking yeah. Parisian whore. <laughs> so I like my beer. <laughs> mm. It's nice, though. It's all right. Off a Parisian whore's Ooh. nipples. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> it's a pale ale, I want it. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Oh, what's the pale devil flyer? 4.6. Hmm. Hello. Well, it's not, it's not too bad. bad. It's not I mean, too I'm bad, a... actually. I mean, it's like, yeah. but like I say, it's more like not objectionable than actually nice. It's like, uh, you know, you, you don't It's not a like... sour, though. No. Actually, it's not uh, in the style of sour that I've No, not at all. Think. No. Yeah. It's got no sour, nothing in sour at all. I'm only winding you all up, actually. I, I, I like all my beer cold, actually. To be honest with you, like, I don't, you can drink owls at room temperature. I've always like throwing them in the fridge, you know. But yeah, when you bring them home. So, yeah, when you bring them home. When you're in the pub, you haven't well, you have yeah, 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 yeah. But the barrels are normally kept in the cellars where it's normally cool anyway. Cool anyway. Yeah. yeah. More often than not. Yeah. It's, it's quite nice. It's, it's it's like it's quite refreshing than that. It's just yeah. not really a lot going on flavour. No, but 
It's not more than going on flavour wise. No. no. But it's, it means there's no there's no um, there's no there's twang. There's no annoying twang. There's no like, like what's the top? Hoppy. Uh, yeah, hoppy I don't before. think it is. I don't yeah. think it is that hoppy. But then it's the bitter. It just sometimes gets confused with. Yeah, the maybe. But it's not. It's not bitter at all. Mm. I wouldn't say it's that sweet. It's just free in the sweet, but free, yeah. in, free in the mouth. Feel. Are you getting any mouth feel out of it? Well, yeah, I was getting like what I thought was coconutty things going on. Ah. Oh, simple Simon. Hey, on. Simon. Beer, beer, beer. Okay. Well, there's a risen on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd drink a bit tasting like Mervis. Oh, that'd be, that'd be cool, <laughs> wouldn't it? I think I would, anyway. Yeah. Might get sick of it after about a third of a Literally pint. Sick of yeah, it. you would be, probably. Yeah. I don't think I can have it. I think it made butter or something. Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Milk. Yeah. Maybe with the blood yeah, of virgins. Butter. Oh, I can have that. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, nice. As long as the blood is sourced uh, kindly. Ooh, one, two, one, two. Oh, yeah, four. Five, four. Mm. We've only had four grand, I'm feeling it. Yeah? And I like a little bit. Right. No pale ale. Yeah. More beer company, PMA. Mm, what does that stand for? Maybe they're the same. Pre menstrual arousal. <laughs> Um, HXC, what's that mean? Oh, no, it could... hits cancer. Is it another charity one? Could be. Right. 5.3 from Bristol, England. PMA is an uncompromising take on a true West Coast Californian pale ale, bursting with citrus, floral, and pine, with Simcoe, Cascade, and Centennial leading the charge. Yeah. The defining bitterness of the style balances the restrained caramel nature of the all malt body. Natural carbonation adds to the soft mouth feel of this live beer. Okay. Yes. Uh, hazy amber on the eye, citrusy and piney on the nose, and the hops are Simcoe BBC, Centennial, and Cascade. Yeah. Remember, remember hops? They're quite famous now, aren't they? What ones? Cascade, yeah, they're all ones we've yeah. had plenty of time for. Rebellious by nature, but with a heart of gold. By drinking this beer, you are helping the global fight on cancer. Okay. So cheers for your support. Fuck cancer. Yeah, live for today and keep that PMA. Possibly, I know what it is now. Positive mental attitude. Yeah, yeah, positive mental attitude. That's oh. what it yeah, as soon as they said that, you know. Yeah. Well, that's got a funny little taste. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I just had some bloody well chili nuts. This might not have been the best thing to do for you drinking it. The original vegan friendly beer. I don't know what you mean by that. Right. Yeah, it's got a point. It looks like we're sliding down a hill. Let's see if we can sort that camera out a little bit. This camera is stupid because it's got a wire in a really bad place. <laughs> so it's like you, you can't see it properly on the on the laptop. Yeah, <laughs> sliding down a hill. Yeah, it did look like it was on a bit of a level there, didn't it? Raising. Um... Cash the charity. Yeah. To fight cancer, yeah. Cool. But is it a nice one? Did we mark the last one? No, we didn't actually. Um, I quite liked it. Uh, um, three. Three for me. Um, I feel like I go one and a half for that one. Oh, really? You mm. disliked it that much? No, but he just wasn't anything that I want to okay. have another one of, really. I thought, I think. I nearly said two, but I'm not even keen on this. No, I'm not sure because it's a mouthful of chili nuts. Wait, wait, I'm glad you did, mate. Any space beer? We were hoping. Does a tanker have space beer? Is it? Is um, it a tanker song? Space beer. You're better sure, off yeah. having some fucking nuts with this beer. To be honest, it's, it's just that horrible fucking hoppy fucking annoyance. Oh yeah. Just tastes like so. Quite a little hint of you know what it then. tastes like? It tastes, you know orange peel? It yeah. tastes like you're biting into the fucking orange, orange, the orange skin. Do you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a go. To me, anyway, I don't like it. Don't like it. There's a little don't like it. Um, hoppy twang in there. Oh. Oh. Aliens, they stole my beer. 
Yeah. You wonder why I do that all the time? Because you can't bloody see. Yeah. You're a specky twat. Yeah, I'm a specky twat. <laughs> it's me trying to read the bloody uh, comments. That, it's real. We've got two screens up. Why the hell have we got two screens up? Uh, right, one so was the that thing, was the one. Just yeah, 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 yeah. confusing the heck out of me. Yeah. I'm so glad to get rid of the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, we're, we're all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this we had is... more viewers yesterday. Friday nights are better than Saturday nights. From for... <laughs> steady on, old chap. <laughs> We're not even halfway through yet, and you're no. coughing up your nose already. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Uh... Not feeling it. I'm feeling it. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's right. got... It's that really. Like, yeah, and it goes on. It's just the hoppy bit. Of, yeah, it's got yeah. layers as well. Like it, it, it like. It literally tastes like off a slightly hoppy, of orange peel. And then you swallow it and it gets hoppy out. And then a yeah. couple, of, couple of seconds later, you even get like a yeah. prolonged kind of like, ugh, yeah. of the hop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes my face do this. It's not my normal face, I promise you. The beer's come straight out of the fridge, uh, Simon. Yeah. It's another, it's another one obsessed with us Aussies. drinking warm beer. <laughs> yeah. Are these all Americans? No, he's all right. Aussies. Aussies, mate. Down under. Same fit, same thing. Yeah. They like it bigger. We've got to have it cold there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cold, um, cold and come with a spider yeah. guard. The that is not cold. They come out from the fridge. Got them. Yeah. Got them from the fridge. Things are in the UK at the moment. It's fucking cold. So <laughs> anything's all right. <laughs> yeah, that is a little... Fucking horrible. Hmm. So I mean, it... I think I, I think I actually liked it better when I still had the chili flavour in my mouth from the chili nuts yeah, I was eating. It, uh, it did kind of it took the edge off the off the off the um hoppiness. Now I'm scoring that one and if you know me, you know that's low. Mm, you know me uh, you know me uh, uh, fucking fair really go as low as that. I think I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna go higher than you then maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Do I wanna go one and a half? Oh man. Oh uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna go one and a half. No, I'll go one. Well, fuck it. Yeah. It's the law. You're not allowed to go higher than me. He doesn't deserve an extra half anyway. <laughs> hey! Okay. No, we're going for that one. Going for... Okay. I was going to go for the apocalyptic thunder juice, but I knew that everyone's going to tune off as soon as we flood down that one. Yeah. That's the only thing everyone's sticking around for. I know. Uh, straight out of fridge, gas mark seven. Yeah. No, it's uh, warp speed. Gas mark it's seven. warp speed 10. Warp speed 10, straight out of fridge. Yeah. And we got street life. It's the only life I know. Street life. Something, something like that. Something like that. Anyway. Yeah. I can do a Yorkshire accent. Yeah, anyway, well, everyone well, can do a Yorkshire accent. Why. Apart from people from Yorkshire, they keep fucking it up and say, "That's not how we talk." What you doing? What are you talking like that for? We don't talk like that. You fucking bastard. <laughs> yes, you should do, mate. Yes, you do. <laughs> uh, right. London Beer Factory from London, England. Oh, Greatest yeah. city in the world. It is. Like 4.2% tasting notes. This is a fruity American pale ale using hops from the US and New Zealand. Mm. This is a beer to celebrate the good times. Mm. And that calls for a street party. <laughs> Clear and golden on the eye. Citrusy and fruity on the nose. And the hops are El Dorado, Machuca and Waiiti. Those, oh. have be, those have got to be the New Zealand hops. Machuca and Waiiti. Yeah, I've not heard of them ones. Oh, the right those there. are definitely New Zealand yeah. hops. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll bet me shirt on it. Right. Hoppy is four. Fruit is four. Mouthfeel is three. Floral is three. Malty is three. Bitter is two. Yeah. At LBF, we brew fresh and funky beers. Funky beer. Yeah, funky beer. You like a funky techno beer, don't you, yeah? Street life. This is a fruity American style power. It usually hops from the air. Ah. Cheers for the beers, sleepy reader. Stay fresh, stay funky. That's their uh, uh yeah. Reton day. Yeah, you like the funky techno, yeah? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're not liking the funky techno, mm. no? That's a mad cat, isn't it? Look at that. If this is street life. I think I'll stay indoors. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. <laughs> because you've had your beer. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is funny. That's why I do it. It's funny, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a sweet life. 
I'll stay in. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Nothing can be as brutal as the last bit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't mind. It's all right. <laughs> mm. We're doing interesting noises again. Yeah, we go back to the, that stage we were at yesterday, just making noises. Oh. We haven't spoken about the snacks. The snacks were quite nice this week. We had some uh, roasted chickpeas, barbecue flavour, and we had this crispy seaweed. That was quite weird. That was weird, but nice. Mm. It was all right, yeah. Yeah, boozy greetings. Sleepy mm. reader 666. Mm -hmm. I like your... Uh, like your handle. Like your handle. Mm. Hey, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just more, more hoppy. Yeah, but I think because of that, we had that one last, it sort of feels like a lot more sort of pleasant. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's any better. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, not, not necessarily. No. no. They build it up so much, don't they? Mm. I just think we've got fucking, we've got barbarian palettes. I think it's well, yeah, we, we got middle aged, oh, we, we don't, just from exactly, palettes. exactly. We've probably, we've probably eaten too many curries in the world and like killed the only taste buds that, you know what I mean? It's probably young people like just turned 18 having their first pint and they go, oh, citrus, Ooh, oh, yeah, well, that's coconut, that's what, that's Ooh, what it is. They love it. Pine, and we're just going. Uh, tastes a bit uh, hoppy. <laughs> yeah. Give us some brown beer. Come on. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's the palette of um, people today uh -huh. in general, I guess. Oh. Well, I had some barbecue. Nobby's nuts. nuts. Yeah, they're nice, Nobby's nuts. Mm. When Dawn was it, uh, sorry, Dawn, Lisa was eating some Nobby's nuts, and I took a picture. And I photoshopped it to say Grey's Nuts. <laughs> hey, hey, Lysanthropic One. Lycanthropic, yeah, yeah. he's a werewolf. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, uh, that's funny. Yeah. Should do an international beer stream one day. We'll get the, we'll get the beers from the same box. Somehow, like, tally up the beer so we've all got the same beer. Mm. And, like, do a, do a you know... A taste in across the country. Across. We're gonna have werewolf in Oz. We're gonna have sleep marina in uh, his part of the US. Us, obviously, in the good old UK. Yeah. Someone from Canada. Is someone from Canada? Or some other? Someone in Europe, maybe. Well, there's quite a few Canadian DJs on MDR. Good mm. game, um. But you, you can't do the stream yardy thing with lots of people anymore. No, I can do it. You can, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Up six, like you could do anyway. Yeah. Even though. I oh, right. Okay. Yeah, there's some things you can't do. Like, I can't put pictures up. Like, I can't do backgrounds and stuff right. like that. So, and you've only got so many hours that you can do as well, actually, things about mm. it per month. So, right. Yeah, but I couldn't afford like, 25 quid a month anymore, too. That's a lot. You wouldn't think about it, isn't it? Mm. If you're not making any money from YouTube. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I, I started getting it hoping I'd make some. Of course, yeah. But I kind of like wanted to do more stuff, like do more hangouts and sh stuff. And yeah, yeah. I'd like to get back to No one wanted to hang out, so it was like, it was, it was a waste yeah. of time. Yeah, but you know, um, what, you were away and like obviously at least is that over Christmas. And... No, no, it was too, yeah, it wasn't just there. Uh... I still want to do. I want to do a lot more comic book stuff, but it was yeah. like no one was really interested in hanging out and talking comics with me. So, but well, I still want to do well. another uh, Monday Mail things. I quite yeah, enjoyed that. The yeah. Flash metal one we did. It's cool. Do some music ones. Yeah. Pacific Northwest, almost the same weather as England. Oh. Yeah, true, true. Is that up in uh, where, where where is he up in Seattle or Washington somewhere like that? I'm going to say Portland for some reason. Yeah, well, yeah right. no, that's up there as well. Yeah, yeah that's up there. For some reason, well. Portland jumped into my head. Yeah, well, Oregon. Probably wrong. No, no, you're right. It is Pacific Northwest. Mm. Yeah, very rainy. Quite, <laughs> quite similar. It does get warm, though, because he's sometimes out, out in his garden yeah. showing off his comic books. Right. So we finish up on the nitro style. If you want, yeah. That's a dark, got, a, 
Yeah, because obviously one's going to be a milk stout, isn't it? So. I can't have that one last. Oh, so maybe I should have that. Nope, Do you want to go for that now, then? Yeah, go for that one now. In the milky stout. Let me see. I presume it is milky. It usually is when it says it's milk. <laughs> There's the vegan milkshake, but there was another one, wasn't there? there was... Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, there was, wasn't there? Meat and I. How many beers you got? How many quick empties you got there? Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's four more. No, six more. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Six That's more. me. Mathematics is not your strong point. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Dark end of round out. Oh, everyone heard that, Elric. Bloody hell. No, they didn't. But they did. Oh, this is oh this is it. Right, okay, let's try that one. You got it. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit small. So this is um Rocky Road Star. I bet it's the nice Rocky thing. Road Milk Stout. Five point five. I'm guessing it's Oh, it can't drink it. Let me just see if I can find it. <coughs> that the little lactose sign, wouldn't it? Yeah. I might see it. Yeah, lactose milk. I've seen it already. Uh, it's all mine then, oh, yeah? Oh, I'll pour it. All yours, sir. It's my glass. Yeah. Don't put it in your glass. No. Right, from York, England, Brew York. 5.5 as a stout. This is enjoy it. Warm temperatures, this one. 12, 16 percent. Cent, um, fluffy marshmallow. Aromatic tonka and creamy vanilla are wrapped in delicious cacao oh, nibs. It smells really sweet. <laughs> and chocolate to create an indulgent and sugar smooth stout. This is Brew York on top of their stout game. Absolutely delicious. Is there a um, little yeah. web thing the same? No. Like they got their own little web thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you see, yeah, it's, it's uh, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 More or less the same, though. Four malty, four sweet, four mouthfeel. Yeah. Free and fruit? I, yeah, I got four and fruit on this one. Four and sweet, three on mouthfeel, five oh. on on, on uh, malt. What okay, so malt? no, four in malt. Okay. So they don't even agree with each other? No. That looks beautiful, though. It smells really sweet. Oh, yeah, it smells really sweet. Yeah. It smells oh, lovely. It smells lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful smell. Yeah. <laughs> Someone mm. doesn't like marshmallow. I thought that was D dropping, buddy. He heard yeah. you. Well, we've heard you. Oh. Dropping your guts on stream. Honestly, you yeah, give my channel a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you remember when we started? I was on one of burp and all that. Now I was, I've lost. Uh, I've uh, let myself go now. So, uh, you let your fucking ass go. You let my ass go. My mouth hurts now. It smells like that. Nice. Oh, wow. What's it like? Weird. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's got some crazy, it's like a little fireworky flavours going on. Yeah. It's kind of like a little bit with this, a little bit of that. Can't quite work out what the flavours are, but they're nice. Um, hmm. Maybe if I fart, it'll uh, help you, no? Is it nice? <sighs> I think it's caramel. Yeah. I think it's like a caramelly. Yeah. It feels like. It smells it. Mm. But it doesn't taste like sweet, sickly sweet. Oh, but it's got like it's quite lively as well. The flavours are quite lively. Like you get a little bit caramelish, and it kind of like grows in the mouth almost as you as you're drinking it. There's anything I can read while you're drinking to entertain, to entertain the masses. Mm. Does your own kind of a pizza flavour for you? Oh, <laughs> not as far as I'm aware. Who said that? Sleep Marita. He uh, thinks outside the box that uh, time. He does. Like, get it done. Get when, it done. when we start up our brewery, yeah. Pleasant, yeah, Pheasant, Pleasant Pluckers, yeah. Pleasant Pluckers Brewery, I forgot the name for a second. <laughs> then well, we made, at, he's we made, already our chief brewer. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of our ideas, man. That is strange. But nice, but weird. Mm. I don't know. Is it, what does it say in there again? Does it, does it mention camo, does it? Which one is it? What was there on the left there? there? Rocky Come Road Star. Fluffy marshmallow, mm. aromatic tonka, whatever that is, and creamy vanilla. Mm. Yeah. That's what it is. It's vanilla. Yeah. Oh, it's a vanilla like yeah, flavor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah quite some delicious cacao nibs and mm. chocolate to create an indulgent, super smooth style. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Absolutely delish. It says. Mm. 
Oh, my eyes are itching. <clears throat> it feels like a little mouth workout. Yeah, I bet. Because you've got all these quite strong sort of flavours. And they sort of come in like little, um, like, you know, stages. You get stages of flavour almost. So like you get a little bit of that and you get a little bit of that kind of thing. Or it just feels different in the mouth. Yeah, that, uh, it's nicely Brave Noise Palau. It's got like uh, on their t shirts anti sexist, no. anti racist, pre pro quality. equality beer club. Oh. You know cool. Did we show people the uh, Oasis on the Yeah, on yeah. The cam? It's, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Especially when it's a York beer. I was thinking it was a, for a beer from Manchester, I could probably understand mm. that. But there you go. <laughs> Uh, pardon me. All right, so the back. right now, we're all wishing for some time in the sunshine, but there's no easy way out. We took masses of cacao, vanilla, and marshmallow and made this luxuriously smooth stout. With this beer in hand, your dreams are real. Tonight, can you be a rocky road star? Definitely, maybe. Why didn't I read that? <laughs> it's so uh, fucking small. All the time. You can yeah, barely see yeah, it. Yeah, I can, yeah, just about to see that. Hmm. Um, yeah. I think this. I think this picture just shows how much beer has changed. Oh my god! Yeah, this is the um, <laughs> gender guys. Venga boys. Yeah. I mean, beer has changed. Look at that. It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? That's what. That's what yeah. Sleepy Reader wears all the time when he's drinking his beer. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of pink. I'm reading yeah. his comics. Yeah. Awesome. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer the cheeky girls to the Venga boys. Yeah. I don't mind it being us to move on, I guess. Really. Yeah, to society yeah. moves on, not just BS, anything associated with society will move on, won't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, you hope so, but also oh. society is fucking often goes backwards as well, unfortunately. Yeah. With Some ways, yeah. Goes forwards in one ways and backwards in others. It's weird. We never still quite learn to yeah. accept each other yet, do we? No, it's well, weird. yeah, it's just it's such a fluid. Hatred goes online now mm. more than anything, I, I would say. It's such a fluid kind of thing, though, isn't it? People come in there want to make their own identity, and you, uh, it's just whatever. I don't because, know. like, if we the way we are now is considered this kind of work thing, you know, because we have, have this caring, mm. like, everyone can do what they want attitude. Now yeah. they're like, woke, you know, it's like... Hey, Voinga! Ooh, ah. I think that might be Bok. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Uh, it could be from... I'm going to attempt to read somewhere out. Somewhere that's not English. Keep botting us. Keep botting us. I'm going to read out every Bok thing that you say. Yeah. So his name is Mapa Yampayova. Yeah, it's a really writing. It's a really writing. It's a Greek, you think? No, it's Russian. Russian? Civilic. Is it? Yeah, it's Cyrillic. How do you know? Because I do from Russian with metal every week on my show. Ah, you recognise it. Yeah, yeah. definitely Cyrillic, I'm sure. It's a smart cookie. Mm. How's the beer, good? Yeah, it's all right, yeah. Still like, kind of like, Ooh. not sure what to make of it, you know? Imperial it's got so much, now. like, kind of like, Weird little flavors going on. Yeah. It's kind of, but yeah, I'll definitely it's vanilla. It's definitely more vanilla than anything. Mm. And it's another one of those ones where you sometimes think to yourself, why do they make? I mean, only not that I give a shit about you, obviously, you know, because mm. you're a complete twat and yeah. Um, horrible. Yeah. But um, it's like, why do they put milk in it? Because easy to start the same thing without milk, course, and you yeah. can have some. Yeah. But, but equally, tough teas. Yeah. Tough teas. You, get more <laughs> you made beer. your bed. You fucking lie in it, pal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking your beer. <laughs> Yeah, nice, interesting. Lots of character, lots of different little flavours going off. But I say mainly that kind of vanilla kind of twang. I think it might be a little bit, might be one where it gets a bit the sickly after report. a while. That looks cool. That looks like something like yeah. heavy metal. Uh, yeah, the witch report. I'll be reading that. Women make out a quarter of craft beer drinkers, mm. and less than a third of people working in the beer industry. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
But it, the funny thing is, I, I think of women being involved with, with beer a lot more than it used to be. Mm. I mean, I, I, if you go yeah, to... Yeah, we've read a couple of beers that have been yeah. women brewers, haven't we? A couple of yeah, and, and like when mm. I used to go to beer festivals years ago, it was basically all men and mm. quite middle-aged men. Yeah, you've got a lot of women at these places now. It's men in beard, with beards and sandals. And massive and guts. massive beer guts. Yeah, because it's like, you know, kind of like, you know... Traditionally, women don't want to drink too much beer because it makes them fat, but, you know. And, and you know, women quite often didn't drink beer. No. I mean, you know. A glass of white wine uh, or a martini or something. Yeah. So, um, I think it is improving that way. Uh, no, you're all right. Well, we'll for him, let him, I'll, I'll call, he's only made one comment. Maybe he's saying, I love you in, in Russian. Uh, absolutely. No, don't get rid. We, we love you. We'll accept bots. Any, any yeah, people. All comments, all comments <laughs> gratefully appreciate you. Yeah. Right, Ravenna. Ah, I oh, think that's Sky Club song. No, that's Sky Club. I think it's called Ravenna. I think it's Ravenna, Ravenna. Da, da, da. It's a really cool song on my Sky Club. Okay. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. I don't listen to it for ages. Yeah, Dharma Shoe England. No, it was, I think it was the bottom one, wasn't it, last, yesterday? I think it was the I bottom. think it was the bottom one. Was the bottom. Oh, I'm going to give that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give that four. I think. That good, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, uh, to be honest, the, the Jew is still kind of out on it because I've still yeah. got that vanilla kind of like really mm. in, my sweat, in my mouth. Well, yeah. not really that super sweet, but that, that's, you fucked up the head there, mate. But um, yeah, <laughs> blame the tools again. <laughs> no, it was, yeah, it was kind of like, yeah, powerful vanilla is to it, but it wasn't, it, yeah. Great. Yeah, I'm still kind of the Jew is still out a little bit on it. But I don't know if it's talking about women because um, there's been a, a quite... darts players, the fat men who drink beer, maybe. That's yeah, but also like even in darts, you're getting women playing in the men's tournaments now, and there's this woman I forgot her name. She's as good as the men, and she gets up into the higher like, echelons That's cool. of the darts. Yeah, that is it's really, really weird because you, you things like the skill <laughs> sports like that, you think to yourself. I mean, you can understand like fucking hundred meters, fucking yeah, was, men and women have got to be, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like skill sports, like, like pole, snooker, yeah. snooker yeah. darts, you think they would be on an equal footing? Yeah, not, though, snooker. You, there is this world champion. She she does go into the men's draw for mm. the world championship, but she's never qualified for the first round. Mm. The problem with the women's snooker is there's not a lot of money in it, and a lot of women go to the pool circuit. Right, but it'd be nice. They play against the men in the pool circuit or not? Yeah, they play. Oh, I'm wondering if it's like I mean, obviously there are differences. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is my take. There are differences between men and women, uh, physical, and I don't, I don't know if there's anything to do with the, the brain. I've got large being, breasts, though. Yeah, you have. Yeah, a, yeah. That doesn't count when it comes no, to differences. All right, all right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, mean, like, so, I don't know, fucking spatial awareness. So, I don't know. Why is there that snooker? I'm sure there's not, though. You think there you would be? Think, no. And then why aren't they competing? Is just because they're not allowed to? No, it, it probably just, like, like I say, there isn't, sure there's 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 isn't money in it. No. One but thing. if you're good enough and you're yeah. able to compete with the men, then you should be able to. There's probably the not enough women wanting to do it as well. Mm. There's probably that has a lot to do with it. If you say like women's one, football has like ever... grown, women's rugby yeah. has grown massive. Yeah. Uh, a lot of women's sport has grown. They won't play against though. each other though. The men and the women won't play oh, against no, each other. Oh, no, of course not. No. no. But, but yeah, in the darts and the snooker, they do. You know, there yeah. is a women's circuit, but they can play with the men. Right. Um, yeah. It's right, we've not read this yet. Yep. Ravenna is a juicy IPA single hopped with mosaic. The hops exude huge aromas of mango and kiwi, followed by flavours of papaya and citrus. Five in the hoppy, five in the mouthfeel, four in the fruity, three in floral, two in bitter, two in malty, two in sweet, zero in sour. That's yeah, pretty much what it says here. Right? <laughs> and the rest that of was it. him. That was him, Your Honour. Oh, that was a... <laughs> you, you had to one up me there, didn't you, Eric? <laughs> well, nothing happened. Right, vanilla burp that one I just did as well. Yeah. Taste the vanilla on that burp. Oh, that's that's nice, yeah. like a bacon burp. <laughs> oh, I've not had a beer in a while. Prefer to what we had yesterday by Form Bridge. Mm. Yeah. Better than the one we had Form Bridge yesterday, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Quite smooth. Fallon Sherrock is a lady darts player. That's it. That's her. Very yeah. good. She's very good. 
There's another there's a woman called Fallon in MMA who used to be a man. Or Yeah. And fighting women. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I think, and I think their name's Fallon as well. Okay. Yeah. I remember it's a Russian the, the, the first woman to beat a man in darts. I remember watching it. It was a, a it was a female it was a Russian dart player called Anastasia, I think her name okay. was. And she was the first woman to beat a man in a in a competition. Right. And it was like wow, it was like, like amazing at the time. But now now yeah, she's doing it all the time. Yeah, that's cool. You, you can't I can't see why there'd be any reason no, that exactly. a woman can play darts as good as a man. Yeah, there's no like physical no. Actually, tits to getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, I got the tits. Yeah, true. It's true. You have. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we have. Well, West Ham got a women's team, haven't they? I think yeah. every. I think every Premier. Every, Do every... you guys have uh, pro women's football over there? It's I'm not sure it's pro here. Well, no, it's, it's pro. pro. It's, it's pro. pro. Yeah, they get paid. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Um, yeah, uh, uh, women's uh, football, soccer, as it's called, is art. Mm. Is pro- what? Oh, be- yeah, yeah well, that's what they call it, that, didn't they? It's football. What are you talking about? Yeah, soccer for them. Oh, soccer for them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you yeah. Call it soccer for us. No, you, no, you don't no, call it football. soccer. Yeah. You never call it soccer. They do. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, the female game is probably bigger than the males game in, in, in yeah. the states. And they had a mass. They've had a massive pro league for years. But yeah, because the men they, they like to do that competitive hugging that they do, don't they? You know, that, they, they, they have like twenty four men lined up in a row, and they all rush to hug each other as hard and fast as they can. That's have you not seen it? Yeah, it's kind of like rugby. Yeah. But it's like there's more hugging involved. They just rah! They go give each other a big hug and fall on the ground. What are you talking about, Graham? It's that that game with the quick football in America. But it literally it's just men running at each other to give each other a big hug. Okay. And I see they go one, four, hop, hop, four, do oh, hug. Oh, hug. Yeah, hug. Yeah. It's lots of fat notes hugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah that game. That's yeah. the whole game. That, that game. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole game. It's yeah. competitive hugging. And they call it football. And then they stop for like fucking yeah. a minute. And, and then they say, right, let's again. Get, we'll, 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 get, <laughs> we'll get ready for hugging again. Then they'll get ready, they'll get down. And that uh, on the. Whatever. Whatever. Ha, 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 There's a ball in there somewhere for some, <laughs> for some reason. They have a ball in there. I'm not sure what that's all about. I think whoever gets the ball gets the like, I don't know, yeah. choose the man of the choice they, they, for a they, hug afterwards. It's so funny because sure. when it starts, they all do like cat fight and they all go ah, 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 like that. They try and stop each other passing. And then like there's some that, guys in stripy jerseys who throw handkerchiefs on the floor. You've seen that? They throw like, handkerchiefs on the floor. What's that sport? Yeah, that's the same sport. Oh, yeah. is it? The referees, they throw hankies on the floor where it's gone weird. Yeah. I don't, don't know. I'm that, sure though. they throw hankies on the floor. Oh, I don't when, know. I, when I used to watch it. But no, anyway, getting back to the women's football, it is. Um, it's been a pro league for a few years now. Where yeah, West Ham's got a pro league, mm. a pro team as well. You know? Yeah, so I think one of our players now. England's really good. I think one of our players won the World Cup or the Olympics or something. I'm sure they're like Canadian or something or American. We got a Canadian playing in West Ham. Did they win the World Cup this year or the Olympics this year or something like that? Oh, Gold medal in the women's or something. I don't know. But the support you USA often win it. Yeah, USA, like uh, World Cups and, and uh, the viewing support for women's football in the UK is not good though at all, though, is it? It's not great. It's better yeah. than it was though. Yeah, it's a lot better than it was. I think it's still quite high. You look at like in America, they'll get like thirty thousand fans. Soccer it, yeah. is like yeah. a women's sport for them, isn't it? More or less. Yeah, it's funny I say that, but then um, our our man is our sort of what you consider tough sports are a lot tougher than American ones, like rugby. Yeah, I think of American football as being like a wimpy rugby. <laughs> yeah. there, you just... go, look, there you go, sleeping with your nose. Oh yeah, our football is all about sensuous body contact with big guys. Right. <laughs> See, because yeah, the big guys don't get enough hugs, yeah. and it's like we need more hugs. Yeah. Let's run at each other really hard and hug each other till someone breaks the neck. <laughs> You know, we got rugby league, we got rugby, and we got. Um, I mean, baseball is just rounders, isn't it? Yeah, to be honest. basically, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Now Ravenna. How are we going to score that Ravenna? Right. Oh yeah. Sorry, uh, you drunk it. Yeah. yeah, I've completely forgot about it. I've only finished it about a minute ago, and I've completely completely forgotten. I was taking some of yours. I can remember what it tasted like. No, I'm going to go two. I don't mind it actually, but I'll go no, three. Yeah, I'll go three. I knew you were going to go three. Yeah. It's, like, it's like it's like we must tell each other scores nowadays. Yeah. Uh, never scores high. Right. Now let's go. 
Let's go gender fluid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gender fluid, guys. You ready to get your gender fluidity on? Yeah. That's what Eddie is on this kind of. Thing, yeah, isn't he? he is gender fluid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, vegan milkshake strawberry IPA. I'm not sure if he's gender fluid. I know he's a transvestite, isn't he? Because he likes yeah, dressing up as a, a woman. He'll go. He'll go from. Yeah. yeah. Yes, maybe he's gender yeah, fluid. Yeah. If he maybe it's that's the, the new, the new term. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? It's all good. Let it flow and let yourself go. I'm sobriety fluid. I got a lot of <laughs> actually. I'm a sobriety fluid. fluid. That's what I am. You know what? I don't I think you want. I think it's pretty. I don't think we've got a. I wonder if it's legal. It's a different can now. It is. You're right. It is. Let's say it's just the same. Two chefs, vegan milk, so it's different. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's a different picture on in the book. Yeah. Right, two chefs, Amsterdam, Netherlands, milkshake oh. IPA, tasting notes, sweet on the nose and. I palate. thought it'd be Holland. They're so advanced when it comes to yeah. being like, acceptable. Yeah, super, yeah. super. Um, sweet on the nose and palate due to the addition of maltodextrin, vegan. Instead of lactose, a well rounded mouth feel with a Thank long you. finish, lots of strawberry and vanilla on the nose, but not mm. artificial. Balanced and full bodied beer. It's got five in sweet, five in yeah. mouth feel, uh, two in malty and hoppy, mm. five in fruit as well. Yeah, wow. Three in floral and one in bitter. It's really thick. Wow. <laughs> it smells sweet. Milkshake IPA. It definitely suits the can, I think, this one. It's a rotten colour, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, oh, blimey. That's, if, if, right. It's time to open up and embrace yourself. Feel free to be you. And don't I'm embracing let, myself. Uh, <laughs> and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That's what this beer is all about. <laughs> Brewed with values of equality and inclusivity. <laughs> it's a celebration of love that hopes to inspire openness and acceptance. I'm really quite slow because it's small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this sweet strawberry surprise is fruity, hazy, delightfully creamy, and contains a delicious dose of mosaic hops that give it a fabulous flavors and amazing aromas. You know, when you read that, it, it, it fills aroma, you with yeah. like joy, positivity. Yeah. positivity you know, um, that's because yeah, you know, probably people read that and go, "Oh, fucking rude." Well, that that's why. Why don't they get a room? Well, yeah, which is why, you know, it, there are people that are sort of gay or whatever or aren't comfortable coming mm. out because you've still got dickheads like that, mm. you know. Um, inclusive limited edition IPA is the luscious love child of two chief brewer, brewing and the one and only uh, Fenger Boys. <laughs> a scrumptious vegan milkshake strawberry IPA arose out of their neutral quest for joy and positivity it's a beer for everyone and we hope Ooh. it will inspire you to open up and embrace yourself i'm not sure it's a beer for everyone oh are you really yeah it's not it's not great i like the message yeah, well done yeah. the message but it's well, not it's not taste bud fluid yeah for who you are all proceeds from this pro project benefit a good cause that we fully support one that strives to make the world a more open and inclusive place scan your qr code to learn more it's actually something i wouldn't mind scanning actually be proud be you be free cheers good message excellent stuff yeah i almost don't want to drink the beer that's so that's so good to read mm. but no, so it's, it's i don't want to spoil it by drinking the beer it's got a few different flavors going on there yeah. you get a little bit of this and a little bit of that you can't quite identify what the flavors are mm. I must say it was super slow. I know there's a little strawberry in there. Um, it has got that kind of slight Ooh. creaminess of a milkshake, uh, a milky stuff. I think it's definitely strawberry. It's quite mega strawberry. But does it work as a beer kind of thing, though? It's quite yeah. weird, isn't it? Um, it's thick again, though, isn't it? Mm, well, it's a little bit wincy juice, isn't it? Oh. To me, it feels like oh. I'm feeling it in my eyes. I feel a beer in my eyes. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, not a like super. Beer. Can you imagine having a pint of it? No, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, 
Chris is like, yeah, this is probably enough. Yeah. Yeah. It has got a slight it's creaminess right. of like yeah. the maltodextrin or whatever it's called. Yeah. And then like a little hint of fruitiness. Mm. But like you say, ones like this, are they really beers? I know, it's mad, isn't it? They well, should, they are, feel, you feel like they should give them a different beer. name or something, shouldn't they? Yeah. Like they should be called something else. Yeah. You know? I know. But it's the ingredients of beer. Yeah. So you have to With like added, added shenanigans. Yeah. Ugh. Wincy Willis. Wasn't she a weather woman on BBC or something? What? Wincy Willis. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sure she's the weather girl on like uh, This Morning BBC or something like that. You just, you just alienated half of your audience, like what, mm. with what I was saying, don't care. Like, no, he was talking about. Uh, he said that when I was talking about football. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Football, I, yeah. I still don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Americans. I like ice hockey. I'm a big ice, ice hockey fan. Actually, it's the only American sport I like. Really, mm. I, I don't understand baseball or American football. I understand basketball. The rules are pretty simple, but I'm not that into it. I think hockey, it's just the fact ice hockey. I'm a big fan of. I think you have to be raised in that because you look. Yeah. at we love cricket, and a lot yeah. of people hate cricket. Literally, like this is yeah, boring, this is dull. It's like yeah. nothing happens for three days, and then and then there's a draw. <laughs> there's a brilliant um, YouTube channel called um, um, Cricket for Americans, yeah. and it's these two Americans. They're baseball fans, but yeah. they got really into cricket and they love it. They're I've great to watch. I've seen a few reaction videos of like, baseball players watch some of the work, some of the heavy, like the nastiest balls or yeah, or you know, catches. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, what? Like, yeah, and rugby. I love it when they watch the rugby because they, they uh, realize that it's actually pretty violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't play rugby. I, I played like rugby, that. didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's that's, that's why yeah. you, that's why they had all them concussions. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, and I, and I played the fucking more brutal version of rugby as well. I played rugby league. Yeah. Uh, ooh. <laughs> weather lady from the 80s. I was right. She was a weather lady, when she Willis. Ah, I'm not heard of her. I'm going to finish off these chilli nuts while you finish off that beer. No, come on, come on, man. You know what it is, is I had after... Too busy fucking chatting, that's what it is. What I had after a ton of... You're, stuff you're too busy thinking what you would change to when you change your gender. Yeah, true. I had shit those I know three, you, didn't I? I know you want to be Elisa. Oh, it's going to become like Elisa. That'll be Elrica. 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 Oh, yeah, cool. Oh dear. Can't be many left in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three more. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm in trouble. Uh, it's these cool nuts. Let's have a nice brain. 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 I like the look of that can. I like it. I'm really farted today, I'm sorry. Yeah. Aroma caramelized orange. Oh, I don't like that. It's a weird aroma, isn't it? Dark for India brown owl. Two brown owls. Well, with the mild. The mild, like yeah. Brown owl is quite unusual, isn't it? This is from Cornwall. 4.9%. With a deep hue of brown. We've had Harbour Brewery. I know Har we've had them before. Yeah. Harbour. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, you're joking. <laughs> this oh. India brown ale has aromas of caramel, lightly seared orange, and toffee, with the reminder of summer from Amarillo and Citra hops that lead to flavours of sheet, 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 sweet citrus, all the while being refreshing and crisp. A citrusy brown ale. That's weird. That is weird. We've had weird things like that before, though. Citrusy brown. Right, um... well, it's soft mahogany on the eye, caramel and citrusy on the nose. Uh, hop, the hops are extra pale, brown, and dark crystal in the white. Hold the back out, come on. Werewolf asks, how often do you empty your nuts into a bowl, Eric? 
<laughs> oh, man. More, <laughs> more than you want to know. <laughs> oh, dear. More than is medically prescribed by the, from the doctors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grey yellow. Well, if you read it, I think I'd be Gertrude. <coughs> if I, I want you to be your female. Gender Graham. fluid. Gertrude. Um, Gertrude? <laughs> Sounds like a, a lady from the 1950s. I know, you just said like an old, yeah, old woman. Old woman. Not only would I my, my tra be transgender, but trans age. I'll be a 70 year old woman. <laughs> yeah. I, if, if I were to tra no, do trans, you know. Do oh, Carol fluid. Kirkwood. I know Carol. Oh, she's lovely. It's Carol Kirkwood. Jesus Christ. Where did that come from? Uh, she's a weather. She's another weather lady. Yeah, yeah. but uh, hence a foie, like, you know, she's, mm. uh, uh, dare I say, uh, sort of, she's a middle-aged lady, but she's All really right. nice and she's, let's be honest, uh, she's quite large in the breast area, mm. which uh, I'm quite... Like a, a, a strong um, front, strong in the same, front, in the same front, terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a strong front. A yeah. big front coming I'm in. Bloody, it is, it is. <laughs> Drink your beer. Drink your beer before. Uh, is there anything to read on here? For me? 4.9. Oh. <laughs> Gertrude probably had a crush on Jimmy Olsen back in 1960. <laughs> Jimmy Olsen is a comic character that I show off a lot and get fucking nothing but stick for. Even though they all should appreciate that he's better than Wolverine by far. I've got too many wicked chili nuts in my mouth now. I'm getting wow. more chili than I am beer. Wow. Okay, okay, not quite sure. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's just say. Why would there be citrus flavour to a brown ale? It is weird, but the other brown ale was a bit like that, I thought. The mild we had had that, but not as much as this. Mmm. Mmm. Now, it doesn't really taste like a dark beer so much, does it? Like, I could well believe this is a light beer. Yeah. It? Hence, it's, uh, you know, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's not the maltiness I want. No. Or the traditional English sort of. Brown out of flavour, it's the yeah. citrus. Yeah. You can get brown out. Not um, not too bad though, but I'm worried I've killed my taste buds of chili nuts. To be honest, can be done. Yeah. I think it gets to the stage now when we sort of lost the plot a bit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always enjoyable when we do our top three and bottom three. No, we can't <laughs> remember. No. I know what my top is. I fucking, as soon as I had it, I knew it would be my favourite. Straight away, I knew it would be my favourite. Man, I've forgotten, I've forgotten them all. <laughs> I just have to copy you. I've forgotten them all. <laughs> now you got to go first this time. No, oh, shite. <laughs> Damn it. I know my favourite, definitely. Ah. Still Ooh. can't. Mm. I can't, like... Mm. If I were to do a blind taste test, I don't know if it's fucking chilling that side a little bit ago, no. but I don't think I would guess this was a brown ale. No, a not brown... at all. It doesn't taste like it. No. Not at all. It's not hoppy, though, or nothing like that, but... It tastes like it. A light beer, it doesn't really taste yeah, like it's brown weird. beer. Oh, got up my nose. That's clever. You need a score pad. Yeah, we, we've often said that, but I think it's quite fun that we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and for, we try our best to know. And for the fact we have like four people watching, it's like, who gives a shit if we get it right or not? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. But I'm usually relatively good at remembering what. Relatively good, but. Well, when you, there's been quite a diverseness. When when you got a, a, a selection of just like fucking hoppy IPAs, we're mm. usually quite fucked, you know. Yeah. But 
There's been a few uh, good ones, yeah. I think uh, doing my bottom three would be harder. Oh, I know what my bottom one is, though. That's fucking horrible. Uh, I was trying to remember what can it was. Yeah, <laughs> was it? Oh, it was that. It was the more. Oh, yeah, you didn't like that one. But yeah. I liked more than you, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, I can't remember any of them. Yeah. I mean, was that one rubbish? I can't remember now. That was the, the one that was... A... I've got a bit of a better memory when it comes to this. That's the one that I thought tasted slightly coconutty. Um, it was all right. I didn't mind that one. You didn't like it, though. You, you didn't like that one. Mm. Let me I, I don't want to give things away, but I like that one. Well, I like that one a lot. Good idea. Thank you. Make a large breasted referee to keep you focused. <laughs> we were out, we were missing. Where's the last large for breasted? My breasts are not that big. My breasts have grown over Christmas. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. Ah. We should really shouldn't get chili nuts from a chili, <laughs> yeah. chili corn nuts from a china. Still doing it. I really mustn't eat no, these. No. <laughs> it's like the first half of them we drink tastes like chili. Yeah. It's not great. But who the fuck? They're really nice. Yeah. I've got, I've got like chili in my eye. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Rinse your eye out. Wow. And what just got in that? Mm. Well, I yeah, I don't. Three. Yeah. I might even score two and a half, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not rate it that much. More of a disappointment because, I, I, you know, it's a dark can, the can is yeah. like, I like the can and brown ale, and it just doesn't taste like a brown ale. Ah. Two more to go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pint of mustard. <laughs> Pint of mustard. Sure. Pint of mustard. And it literally comes in that glass. It's mad. Right. Oh yeah. The old must out. Guinness. Is there a Guinness, shall we? The old nut stout. Right. Yes. The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. Of course. Apocalyptic Thunder Juice. Come on. That's the best. That's a mental can. That's a mental can. If I do, it's called Testing Your History Knowledge Year. Yes. Amundsen Brewery. Yes. Where do you think it's from? Germany. I think he was the first guy to get to the Arctic or the Antarctic. He was the one who beat the Scott team to the Arctic or the Antarctic. Norway. Amundsen, yeah, Norway, that's Norway. right. Yeah, yeah. I think that was him anyway. Can't remember if it was the Arctic or the Antarctic. You can't drink it. Is it milk? Yeah. You're joking. No. I saw I slammed it down. Yeah, I saw you slam yeah. it down. That's why I guess. Well, where's it? Where's that? Oh, it contains yeah. gluten and lactose. Unbelievable. Fucking hell. <clears throat> Never mind. Get extra drunk. Woohoo! Yeah. More drunk for me. <laughs> it's not even a fucking stout. Let's hear your tipsy James Mason impersonation. <laughs> James Mason, isn't he the old thinking? Who's James Mason? So he's an actor like that. Like died in the eighties or something. Can't remember how he spoke there. It was quite posh. I think he was in like well, I can't remember what films he was in though. Up front, a big nose of tropical fruits with notes of overripe mango, a top hints of pine and citrus, a soft and smooth mouthfeel built upon a grit of wheat and oats. Oh. <coughs> Thank you for not sneezing in my beer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Gives way to a fruity, juicy, hoppy finish. Why the fuck has this got milk in here? I don't know. That's my bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking bizarre. Yeah. 
Why would you put a milk milk in such a a fruity drink? It's not even a stout. Oh, it smells nice. It smells nice though. Sweet. Five hoppy, four mouthfeel, four sweet, four fruit, one malty, two bitter. I tell you why they do, because they do not care about the cows. Ah. That is why. That is weird. I can't believe it's got milk in it. It doesn't. Yeah. I have had light beers that have had lactis before on, on these shows, but mm. it's not that often. <laughs> Love the reaction. It's gonna be one of them ones that you're lucky not to drink, I think. Mean. Yeah, really. And you got the whole can, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Smells nice. Lolita. Oh Lolita, it was in Lolita, Dave Mason. That's a weird film, Lolita. Why the hell did they make Lolita after the book? That's crazy. I can't believe that was ever turned into a film. The fact that it was a best-selling book is bizarre. You know Lolita? I've heard about it, but I don't know what it was. It's about a man it. having a relationship with a like, 12-year-old girl, 13-year-old girl, something like that. Interesting. And it was like... Interesting. Lord, it is like a great literary work, literary yeah, work. Yeah, it would have been now in those days. And they made it into a, a film with yeah. James Mason. I mean. Yeah, not something that would get um, made into a film nowadays, would it? You hope not. Yeah, it's weird. It's funny because I was listening to one of my old podcasts. You know, my podcast, I do different theme every month, the, the Patreon ones. Mm -hmm. I did a series of like the 100 um, greatest books of all time. Mm -hmm. I think I did a four part series, 25 books. And Lolita was one of the books. That's why I actually listened to it recently. That's why I remember yeah. the um, the thing about it. It depends how you um, showcasing a, a book or a film about that subject of people. Yeah, They're quite frankly, yeah. You know? I'm sure it had like if, if it's done in a yeah. way because uh, back. I don't think the, I don't think the, the sexual misconduct with the, the main focus yeah. of the book i think there's all to do with relationships and the man's faults and all that i don't think it was like i don't think it's pornographic in its depictions or anything i don't know far enough, i have no idea to be honest but it's still a weird yeah i can maybe talk about some shit on this show don't we no, don't we? Mm. but you know you look at a lot of rock songs of like 60s and 70s mm. there's a lot of like quite frankly paedophilia type um lyrics going on well uh, um you know sweet 16 and yeah yeah, stuff weird, like that. yeah weird. but no, 16 was is legal and like <sighs> a lot of them guys at them time were that kind of eight i don't know, actually there were some there were some that were Jimmy a bit Page older, went they? out with the 13 yeah 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 there was some <coughs> i mean that was wrong dodgy reprobates so you know you know in some some like TV series and films and the Senate is kind of like played on it and it, it wasn't like a ba considered a bad thing. And then you get like these really good films about uh, there's a film called The Woodsman oh, yeah. um, with Kevin Bacon. Who's, uh, like, yeah, he's uh, is he just got out of prison? He's a pedophile who's got out of prison. Like, yeah. If you do a film like that, that that's, that's fine because it's like it, it's kind of like it's basically his life out of prison it's not glamorizing it's, it it's not glamorizing no. it it's just it, basically his life it, it's a touchy subject yeah definitely but it's interesting and it's, it was really well done mm -hmm. apparently peter sellers was also in the, in the leader that must have been a straight role for him was was really a... shagging kids and all, was he? yeah you're not thinking of jerry lee lewis and jerry lee lewis i probably think of that yeah but, uh, yeah, but I, think it, I think it was legal. I think in the state he was in now, well, it was the legal age. Mm. And like apparently Cousins is fine. You know? Apparently in Spain, the legal age is still 13. Mm. Unless that's been changed. Yeah. Mental. you got more beer. Oh, you got some more now? Uh, I know it is. Sorry, mate. It's, um, How are you doing with it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not. 
<laughs> I'll pop it to the thunder. <laughs> I'll eat my spicy nuts. You do that, mate. You do that. Oh, yeah. Don't do your back in bending over. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely a, definitely a chore. There's a moment. There's a moment in the woods, man. That's amazing. Like he, he's in the woods, and it sort of says like kid basically and he gets the thoughts that he used to have of lighting kids but then the, he sort of realizes what he's done is wrong and like ah oh, it's just it's, it's an amazing film actually but it's one that's like gone by the wayside a little bit but yeah it's really good yeah yeah <laughs> Man, I've still got half a glass to go. <laughs> Definitely a one. That bad. Yeah, it's just this. What's wrong with it specifically? It's just a typical kind of like weird twanginess yeah. kind of beer. Yeah. <laughs> with a great can cover though mm. you can't argue with that <laughs> it's even a spaceship yeah 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 I've got no idea what the milk's doing there no being cruel that's what it's doing making me drink it all yeah well not that i wasn't thinking that but that yeah that's cruelty too yeah oh right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking of course about. the cows you were thinking of course i was thinking about the poor cows yeah of course of course um yeah. Is it up from Big Nose or Tropical Fruits? You in? Not massively. No, I don't think so either. Are you getting overripe mango? No, I'm getting overly sick. Okay. Uh, are you getting... Oh, pine. Fucking hell. Hints of pine. They love that word. Hints of fucking pine. No. Yeah, no, no. You've there's got more... a hint of pine. Go in your toilet. I was going to say, there's more hint of pine in my piss than fucking... Yeah. Citrus, yeah, that's the normal thing. Is it soft and smooth? <laughs> it's like uh, twangy and weirdly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. <laughs> We're down to our last one, aren't we? <laughs> oh, that was nice. <laughs> you got red, mate. Oh. Last one. Oh. I'm hoping this one's going to be in. We, stop. we always end with a dark one. Oh. My coffee table has a hint of pain. <laughs> yeah. I bet it does. Yeah. Start eating our table. Yeah. Yeah. Midnight merriment. Yeah. Nitro stout. Now it says yeah. here, I don't know what pour, means. Yeah. pour hard, pour fast. I'm not I reckon that's in a that. pint glass. I wouldn't do that in these no. glasses. You know what, where I've gone with that? Yeah. Nitro have done some really nice stouts, actually. So. Have you ever done Wow, the one I didn't do a show. and I. This is Siren, though. Yeah, Siren have done really nice stouts right. in the past. Oh, yeah, I think you mentioned it yesterday. There was yeah, an old yeah. Siren that we had yeah, previously. It was good. It was amazing. Uh, it wasn't in the show for some reason. I can't remember now why. But uh, <clears throat> I think we doubled up the case or some shit. Ah, uh, yeah, and you had yeah. it separately. So you must have had it in the show as well. No, I didn't. Oh, well, it's kind of an extra right. one, maybe. It was uh, an extra of some sort. Oh, I can't remember now. Extra, um, yeah, maybe we did this the eight box and then you had it extra as a 12 box. Yeah, it was yeah. You bastard, you should share that with me, you slag. Uh, <laughs> what a wanker. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Ah, here we go. Found it. Yeah. From Woking Humming, England. Yes. Hey, bookworm. Bookworm. Hey. We are drinking. Nitro stout. 4%. So it's not strong. Yeah. It's got five mouth feel. Yeah. Three sweet, three yeah. malty, two bitter and half fruit. Or oh, smells very earthy. 
a special rendition of Siren's Midnight series of Nitro Stouts, this time with the addition of bourbon, bourbon barrel maple syrup oak chips. Yes, that's a real thing. Yeah. All the body, flavour and indulgence that we like in a stout at a session-friendly ABV. So this is on the side, same, yeah? Yeah, same. Black on the eye. Chocolatey and biscuitty on the nose. Oat sweet brown malt, chocolate malt and Maris Otter. Are the malts inside? Malts and... Is that all pot? Yeah, you yeah. Chin chin! The jam from Woking. Oh, I shagged brain. a bird in Woking. My first shag was in Woking. First ever shag, yeah? Yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> in Woking, mm. you went all that way to mm. get a shag, yeah? Mm -mm. Mm. Oh no. Plug it in quick. Plug it in quick. Plug it in quick. The battery's low. What it's is there, it? It's there, it's there. Oh, no, it's there. The thing. The thing. The side there. There. The side. Oh. oh fucking hell. Oh. Yeah. Oh, was that like your shag? Yeah, yeah. Is it that good? <laughs> My shag wasn't that good, no. <laughs> You went all this awoken. So um, she was a married woman. I was only 14. She was 21. Oh, wow. And it wasn't great because I was scared of my fucking tiny mind. And she had hairy nipples, which wasn't really a, it wasn't really a turn on for me either. 14's quite impressive, though. Oh, yeah, I was 14. My first. Hell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, never reached consummation. Never finished. The deed, the deed did not get done. Did yeah. it? And then. The so she could be done for paedophilia. She could have done. And on my front room, where I sleep now. I yeah. did it on the floor in there when she came over once. Yeah. And I was like, just getting there, get to the vinegar strokes, and the police come to the door because she hadn't told her husband where she was. <laughs> and just, uh... <laughs> it was an interesting night. Graham, <laughs> Graham you naughty person. Fuck. That's life. Oh. A long time ago. Mm. Fuck me. We all did for his things. Nearly 40 years ago. Yeah. It has got a slight, it's got a coffee mm. little flavour to it, isn't it? I like it. I like, like it. Kind of like the mm. coffee's been sat for a couple of days. Kind yeah. of like. Quite quite brutal, but I still mm. like it, though. Mm. Oh, I was going to say about it again. Oh, yeah. It's nice, though. Yeah. It's nice. That has got some coffee, possibly chocolatey. Brown maple syrup. I can place the sweetness. Maple syrup. Oh. Ah. Uh, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Oh, it's really nice though. Yeah. Very chewy. Mm. It's a chewy little one. I mean, it's like mm, 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 overly like the the flavours that are left in the mouth kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, mm, 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 mm. Uh, I say, uh, and again. Yeah, the jam off from Woking. I love the jam. Mr. Ransom is from Woking. Okay. Okay. Sausages. Yeah. Sausages. That's, that's, that's Sausages. That's live was the end of that program, wasn't it? Yeah. I used to love um, That's Live actually, yeah. that program. Um, Let's yeah. go to Rex now for something from the paper. Oh yes, there's a Dr. Wank who's just <laughs> opened a surgery in... It's a bizarre program, yeah, yeah. that's life, but it was yeah. entertaining, I quite liked it. Here's a dog who says sausages. Sausages! sausages. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, the jam off from working. Mm. Got some kind of almost like a nuttiness as well. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's proper. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. I'm not sure what's going on. It's quite lively. It's got some lively flavours, isn't it? Yeah. I kind of almost hope it's going to calm down a little bit and you get used to like the whizzing flavours in yeah. the mouth. So you've got like a more uniform kind of mouth feel rather than like what's the bit of this and a bit of that like kind it. of going on. I do like it. Yeah. Maybe the, um, I suppose if to score it sort of slightly less, like maybe the coffee thing is maybe a bit much, could be a bit mellow in the mix. 
I don't know, I think uh, I am uh, getting more used to the flavours. Yeah, yeah. It feels like the flavours are changing as my mouth is getting used to them almost. Yeah. Almost well, that's feels being super critical, you know. Yeah, it almost nice. feels like, like I could, I could correctly with about a second mouthful. I thought mm. to myself, this is the kind of one that would be nice with a bit of milk in it. Yeah, let's give it a little bit more creaminess, kind of thing, a little bit more coolness. Mm. But it's it's still nice. But sometimes the milky the milk stouts you don't even get. Sometimes the milk stout you can feel like a coolness to it, yeah. and I put that down to being the milk. Other times it's like, well, I couldn't even, I couldn't even tell there was milk in this. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have to have milk in no, it. No, you don't have to have milk in yeah. it. Cool. But what, I think only... This hasn't, and it's think, quite creamy. Yeah. yeah. I think only a couple of times I've, I've had a milk stout, and I thought I could feel the milk. I could mm. feel the difference of, of yeah. it having milk in it. Yeah. But other times you have a, a milk stout, and you kind of think, well, where the fuck is the milk? I'm not, I'm not getting any milk in this. It's like, but the thing is, why do they bother with it? It's not done anything to appease the vegans. They yeah. could just put like the, the ingredients of beer is like you know, uh, hops, wheat, barley. They could put an oats quite often. They could just yeah. put oat milk in, yeah, it. add your own milk, <laughs> add, add milk, milk to taste. Well, you, know, you can just add oat milk, can't you? Or yeah. almond milk or something, yeah. you know, plastered. No, we already had 12 beers, yeah. Well, well, we're pleasantly happy. Oh, yeah, I've had fucking, I've had, you've only had 10 beers. Yeah, 10 half beers. Yeah, so you've had five beers. Yeah, I did shake a bird in Woking. Yeah. I did. You did, apparently. Her name was. Oh, dear, I can't even remember her name. Not to wait. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I remember it. It's not like I've shagged so many birds I can't remember them. I'm just old yeah. and my memory is crap. Fuck me, how can I not remember her name? No idea. God, must be passed by now. Not, not, not too bad. Great. Fuck, I can't remember her name. Yeah. Oh, dear. Damn. I think my bit I was trying to think. I went from that I went from that to try and remember a second bird that I, I shagged in Cornwall. That was my second bird. You bloody go a long way for a yeah, shag. No, you've you got to fucking travel. <laughs> you got to, when you're as ugly as I am, you've got to go where the shags are available, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking beggars can't be choosers. They don't come, they don't come running to me for fucking shags. I have to fucking travel yeah. out. I have yeah. to fucking... <laughs> I have to commute. I have to commute if I want to get a shag, mate, I tell you. It's a cool one. <laughs> cool. Oh, my God. Nice. Fuck me, what was her name? She was nice though, she was all right. Yeah. It was like 21, that she must have felt like, like an older woman. That when you No, the, the Woking one was like oh. oh, fuck that off. Uh, the one in Cornwall, about the same anything. Okay. Not to go too not, not to be crude or nothing, but the first woman that I <clears throat> finished the deed with. Let's put it that way. Ethel. Ethel, who was Ethel? Uh, your bad. Oh, yeah, mate, was Shirley. that name Ethel? No, I remember it was Ethel. Ethel or Shirley. I know she liked Queen, the band Queen. Oh, cool. Yeah. Fuck me, what was her name? Jesus Christ. I can't remember. Fuck, you think this things will be in there in your mind forever, but I can't your remember either her names now. Never forget the first shot. Angela. Angela, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Her name was Angela Marsh, I think. Oh, it should be like, what? Fuck me, she'd be 60 now. 60 or something. No, fuck, she fucking wouldn't, no. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so fuck. <laughs> fuck. No, don't fuck. Or maybe pull her up. Come on. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to go back there. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's how long ago it was. She had like a yeah. one year old daughter or something like that. Oh, God. She'd be fucking. Fuck me, old now. Her daughter would be well over 21. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Fuck. 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 Maria, there was a one in Cornwall. Oh, cool. I'm actually friends with her on Facebook. Oh, she's on there, but I don't actually talk to her much. And it's fucking weird. She's just gone back to the guy that she fucking finished with before she went with me. She's just gone back to him, like fucking 40 years later or so. Wow. It's like, okay, fair enough. Full circle. Yeah, Angela was totally a guessable name. Yeah. Right, Graham's your bottom three. Oh, I don't fucking know. Yes, three of these somewhere along the line with my bottom. You can work it out. 
You can work it out. Oh, no, fuck. Fuck. I don't remember shit, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, help me out. What three did you like? Mmm, good point. Oh. Oh. This is this is the Wales accent. I shot the bull when I was 21. Who was 36? No, it's not a night world session. We'll be 65 now. Fucking hell. Jeez. I getting old, friends, getting I'm old. Sure I knew was 36. We'll be 65 bet she now. still thinks about a werewolf. <laughs> I bet she does. Well, women, women generally do, I think. Well, I think about men they shaped 40 years ago. Ah, yeah. uh, fuck. I can't remember my top three, let alone my bottom three. Mm. Shite in hell. I can't remember any of them. I was going to go with cans. I don't like the look of much. Yeah. <laughs> you did hate that one, I remember. Did I? Yeah. All right, that's the bottom one. One and a half, I think you called it. I'm sure it's what I gave a one, though. I'm sure yeah. I gave a one to something. Yeah, you did. I'm what sorry. did I give a one to? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's the Maybe that. No, no, you didn't mind that one. It's probably not one of them. Oh, fuck nuts. Fuck nuts. I think I, I, I remember saying like... street life, I'd rather stay indoors. Yeah. That was yeah. it. So let's, let's fucking go with those yeah. three for my bottom. Yeah. Here's my bottom three. Here's my bottom three. Yeah. Okay, let's start bottom three. Um, definitely here. Uh, I can't find a number either. <laughs> <laughs> now that was bad. Um, that was a bit better than... Pick your middle for four yeah. and work from there. <laughs> oh no, that motherfucker. That was horrible. That was the one I fucking hated. Mm. Um, I didn't have that one, did I? Uh, I'm going to try and work at my top three now. Yeah, that was all right. Um, Street life. It's the only life I know. Probably. I remember these two are definitely my least favourite. So that was my least favourite, the more bloody thing. And, um, oh, Fianna. Ravenna. Yeah. Ravenna, Ravenna. It's a good beginning. I think I'll go for that one as well. I, I, I don't remember much. but No, I you probably I, loved it and you completely forgot. Yeah. No, it's, it's got IPA on it, so I know it wasn't that great. All right. Three. Yeah. Yeah, not my top three. Well, no, my top two. Mm. Yeah, a lot of this middle ground. Oh, that was the one I had on my own, wasn't it? Rocky mm. Milk, Milk Stout. Fuck, yeah, I've forgotten this one. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one. Yeah, I think when the middle ground was all like match of a match list, nothing yeah. to write home about, nothing terrible, but nothing great either. Yeah, great candidate. You need to call the voting part of the show plastic cunts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so yeah, I'm going to go my top three. I think the India Brat Dark Ale, maybe number three. Number three. Yeah. Quite, quite disappointing because it wasn't yeah. really like a brown ale, wasn't it? Remember we said that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't like, like it. No, no I didn't like, like it. And then I yeah. think I'll go with number two of the Rock E Roast. Oh, yeah. That's good. You did like that. Yeah. yeah. And not top one, then we'll go with the Midnight Nitro. Bear and Nitro Scout. Yeah. I think that's my top three. My top three. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, my trade. Definitely my top two. I'm trying to think of the uh, next one. Um, Those are your bottom three. Don't go to the bottom there, three. Yeah. Uh, we really should write down our scores. It'd be fucking easy to write down our scores. I swear. You didn't have that one. You can't no, fucking vote for that one. one. Yeah, can't have that one. <laughs> oh, Strawberry. <laughs> narcoleptic, do you say? Narcoleptic. Narcoleptic. Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Yeah. Narcoleptic. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, it's hard to pick what. Oh, 
Oh man. You don't fucking like remember it. you liked. Yeah, <laughs> you don't remember, I can't like that one, are um, mm. Oh, that one, that one. Okay. I, remember one, I think mine that one. So that's going to be my third one. Uh, I didn't mind that so much. Um, that's slightly, it didn't have a lot of taste, but it was quite easy to drink. Fucking the nice. coconut one. Can't that remember. Kept coming about. <laughs> my favourite two, uh, definitely uh, Nitro Stout. I'd say my uh, second, yeah, yeah, second. I, uh, I really liked it. Yeah, it's really good. Two beers are really good. I was blown away by the old uh, really? mild. I loved it. I didn't think it, it seemed to me like a proper mild. It, like it had no head. It was like, and yeah, but maybe it my memory. Like a brown ale. Yeah, it, did. it just tastes like a a, a bottled British ale that yeah. I, I like. You know, um, and uh, yeah, I just really like that. Yeah, I had first beer itis, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, but it was really good. If the I first had number, beer is the nicest. Yeah, if I'd had this number you know, eight, the first beer is the nicest. I still think I'm gonna like it because I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was really good. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my time. Well, that's it then. That's another fucking beer, guys. Done and dusted. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We had it's beer two, two nights in a row. There'll be probably a yeah. few months before we have any more beers because yeah. I've had to cancel my beer order because I'm skinned as fuck. Yeah. Um, unemployed and like begging on the streets. Basically, I'm doing favors for sailors now. Basically, yeah. it's where I've got to in my yeah, life. Yeah. It's kind of disheartening, but you know, job's the job. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> until next time. What do we say to next time? What's best in life, Eric? Um, yeah. You mean beer is best? I think so. Beer is best. Beer is best. And makes you fit and makes you strong. Puts more muscle in your dong bong bong. Beer makes bonny Britons. Beer has stood the test. What did poor old Adam say to Eve? Beer is best.